Happy holidays, tea people. It's been a crazy month, but it's Christmas Eve, the 24th day of Teasmas. And today, David's gave to me two very special teas, Santa's Secret and Candy Cane Matcha. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this tea journey with me. I hope you've had as much fun as I have, and Merry Christmas. Santa's Secret contains black tea, peppermint, sprinkles, sugar, rice flour, soybean, and cottonseed oil, cornstarch, natural and artificial flavors, cellulose gum, red 40 lake, mono and diglycerides, carrageenan, titanium dioxide as a color, polysorbate 60, and natural and artificial flavoring. Candy cane matcha contains cane sugar, matcha green tea, and natural candy cane flavoring and milk powder. Here's how we're going to evaluate each tea. We're going to rate each out of 100 points for dry leaf appearance, 20, infused leaf appearance, 10, fragrance or aroma of the infusion, 20, the color and look of the liqueur in the cup, 10, and most importantly, flavor, taste and aromas, 40, for a total of 100. Since these matches all look pretty much identical, we're only gonna rate on four categories. The dry matcha aroma and taste, 20 points, the fragrance and aroma of the beverage, 20 points. The flavor and mouthfeel, most important, 40. And is it matcha for the final 20 points for a total of 100. Santa's Secret is a holiday pick-me-up to remember. Find comfort and joy in this festive combination of Chinese black tea and peppermint leaf. All sprinkled with real little candy canes, it's energizing and remarkably soothing. Try it as a frothy tea latte and prepare for all the cozy feels. Mmm, it does smell really good. So it is Chinese black tea. That's why it doesn't have the same strong kind of Asamica flavor. I really enjoy this tea. It's definitely among my absolute favorite for blended Christmas teas. So let's steep it and then talk a bit about how it tastes. Okay, Santa's secret. I guess it hasn't totally steeped because you can still see some of those candy cane pieces have not completely dissolved, but that is the amount of recommended steeping time. Just want you guys to see that nice orange liqueur. I would normally have this as a latte. It's so mint chocolatey and creamy. Um, no chocolate. It's like, but there's that sense that it's there. It's kind of like an after eight and the black tea really rounds it out. So let's try it without milk because I would normally have it with milk. Fresh mint aftertaste, creamy black tea. That's delightful, with or without milk. As a latte, it's creamy, it's delicious. It just tastes like Christmas morning. Love it. I would give this tea a 91. As a blended tea, it's one of my favorites. We're gonna get to our matcha in just a moment. If you've been enjoying our advent videos, please like and subscribe and ring the bell down below. We look forward to doing all kinds of new tea informational content and reviews in the new year, and we hope you'll be along for the ride. And now it's time for candy cane matcha. Festive peppermint treat. With its blend of energizing finely ground green tea and cane sugar, this flavored matcha powder is refreshingly creamy and sweet, with a peppermint finish cooler than the North Pole. Strip it straight up or as a holiday green tea latte topped with whipped cream and crushed candy cane pieces. That actually sounds really good and I wish I had some whipped cream. Um, I wanna talk for a second about the color of the actual matcha in the cup. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I don't know where my little glass cups went, but it's kind of a grayish green as opposed to the, the kind of solid green that I'm used to. It looks as though there's already milk in there. It looks like matcha with milk added and there has been no milk added to this. It lives up to its name. It definitely tastes like candy cane. These pair well together because they're both minty, but this is candy cane and matcha all together in one. In terms of Christmas matchas, this is my favorite from the David's Tea Calendar. There were a couple of other ones that I really quite liked, including the yuzu matcha and the, the peach matcha. The mango matcha was also pretty good, and the vanilla pot matcha was very traditional. But this this is definitely a Christmas matcha. It doesn't taste like peppermint so much as it tastes like candy canes. For me, there is a bit of a distinction. 
I would give this a 91. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed taking this tea journey with me. If you've watched every video, then you've sampled 48 teas and tea treats along with me. And let me tell you, it's been quite a ride. We also reached 100 subscribers this month. <laughs> which I am super stoked about. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. We will be having a 100 subscriber video coming out in the next few days or early in the new year, which is going to be our New Year's tea cleanup, where I clean up a bit of my tea collection. You guys can see how much tea I've been hoarding. I'm also going to do some giveaways in the new year so you guys can try some of the teas I've been sampling. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Have a wonderful Christmas and a very happy new year. And again, if you drink it, flick the pinky. Bye for now, and Merry Christmas!